What's going on guys? This is Ray Ray from the podcast Doyo and I don't know about you but I'm very excited about the Wonder Woman movie starting Gal Gadot. Everything is looking very great right now and I just can't wait to see it. Right now I'm in Wonder Woman mania. I actually went to the comic book store, picked up a few comic books of her. I actually picked up some other merchandise and I picked up this Fiend Fatale statue of the Justice League Unlimited version of Wonder Woman. And guess what? I'm going to be reviewing it, so stick around. Whether you like her or not, Wonder Woman is the most iconic female superhero in the DC Universe. She was sculpted by her mother, Queen Hippolyta, and she was given life by Aphrodite. She was also given superhuman powers as gifts from the Greek gods. Some of her powers include superhuman strength, superhuman speed, durability, longevity. She can also fly. She's a skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant. She also uses the lasso of truth that makes her opponents confess to any secret they may hide. She also carries an indestructible pair of bracelets, a sword, and a shield. Besides being one of the most iconic female characters in the DC Universe, she's also one of the most powerful female superheroes in DC. Because of her popularity, we've gotten a lot of merchandise, TV shows, <laughs> appearances on cartoons and animated movies, 2017 live action movie. And as I previously stated, today we're gonna be looking at the Fiend Fatale's Wonder Woman statue that I was able to find in my local comic book store. When I saw this figure for the first time in my local comic book store, I saw it for $44. Now, I was able to pick it up for $33.99 today. So what we're going to do is that we're gonna check if this statue is actually worth its original price of $44. When I saw this figure a year ago, I have to say that I fell in love with it. Not just because it's Wonder Woman, but because I also like Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. I really do have to say that I thought that this statue looked very good from the box. And when I bought it, I really confirmed that it was that good. So first thing is first. This statue of Wonder Woman has to be one of my favorite statues and figures that I have in my collection. By far one of the best when it comes to quality at least. I'm not saying that I collect a bunch of crap, but I am saying that they really did a very good job when designing this statue particularly. As you can see, this statue of Wonder Woman does resembles a lot the Justice League Unlimited version of her. Looks just like the cartoon. I mean, it feels like you actually took her from the TV outside to the real world and made her into a statue. It's that good. She does have the same clothing she wore in the show. And yeah, she does look exactly like the show. Like I said, it's like if you took her from the show outside to the real world and make her a statue. The quality, as I said, is pretty good. Her proportions are done very well, just exactly like the show. I'm not sure if I should say that I'm 100% of a fan of the position she has in this statue. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it looks bad, I just say that, you know, I would have definitely loved to see her in another position. This is a statue, as I said, so this is not a f action figure or anything like that. So don't expect it to be as flexible as you may think that she is. The paint job is great. I think that they did a very good job painting her. Um, there is definitely some spots where you can see where they, they actually missed, but it's not a big deal or a deal breaker for me. So I really don't mind that. Now, if you're a perfectionist that really likes everything touched up how it should 100%, then you may have a problem with certain areas, like her shoulder, for example. Uh, there is a little bit of a paint damage there, but it's barely noticeable. You would really have to get close to the figure in order for you to see it. Another thing that I found uh, was her hair. There's a few areas of her hair that are not very well painted, but again, 
you would have to get pretty close of the statue in order for you to notice it. Other than that, her hair looks pretty good and the rest of her body looks pretty good. I should have also said that between her legs and not that I was just trying to be a pervert and look at her uh, in there, but uh, between her legs, there is a little bit of a paint issue over there. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe the guys who painted her got a little nervous when they were trying to do that area. But uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a mess up there. But the rest of the figure is actually pretty good. It looks how it should. Uh, the face, usually when it comes to uh, figures and statues, it's where I find that people mess up the most. But in this particular case, this uh, Wonder Woman statue does did the job pretty well. Uh, yes, the paint job in the face could be a lot better, actually. Uh, there are some areas in which uh, she could need a little bit of retouch, but nothing serious, you know, it's just nitpicks. Uh, but if you everything that I'm saying, you would have to be really close in in order for in order for you to even notice it. Another thing is is that she's carrying the lasso of truth in this version of Wonder Woman. So it's really a really cool addition uh, for this statue besides where she's standing on. Again, not that I'm a huge fan of her position in this particular statue, but I do have to admit that where she's stepping on is actually pretty well done, just as it is with the rest of the figure. It sounds like I may be a little bit too picky when it comes to this statue, but I'm really not. I just feel that for its original price of $44, you know, Everything should be looking awesome without any defect or anything like that. But I know that this is not a perfect world and you can even find like a hundred dollar figure in which you could find some defects. All in all, I do have to say that this figure is actually one of my favorites of my collection. So I just give it a thumbs up. So is this statue worth its original tag of $44? Well, it all depends how big of a Wonder Woman fan you are. Saying that I'm the biggest Wonder Woman fan in the world is actually a little bit hypocritical. After all, my favorite superhero of all time is the Batman. So for me, when I saw this figure for $44, I thought that even though I was actually gonna get a pretty good size Wonder Woman statue, it was a little bit too much for me. Yes, the quality is great, but considering that I'm not the biggest fan, although I do like Wonder Woman, it's a little bit too much. So $33.99 was actually a better price for me. Now, if you're a Wonder Woman fan, I really do suggest you to pick this up as soon as possible if you see it around. You're not going to get only a great addition for your collection, but you're also going to get quality right here. Like I said, she does look exactly like in the show of the Justice League Unlimited and just uh, the regular Justice League. So this is definitely an item that you will definitely enjoy. That being said, I will give this figure a 9.5 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video guys. Please let us know in the comment section below what is your favorite action figure or statue that you own of Wonder Woman. If not, let us know if you're going to be checking out the Wonder Woman movie starting Gal Gadot. And remember, if you like this video, hit the like button and hit the subscribe button in order for you to help us create more awesome content for you guys. This is Ray Ray from Ray Ray's Comic Books Reviews, signing out.